Alright, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. It is October 1st, 2017. I do, we do have people working uh, in the house um, fixing uh, stuff, so if the noise gets too loud, I will stop the recording and then I will come back once the noise dies, you know, dies down, but I have to complete my job. This is my job. This is what I do. I'm my own boss, so I don't have, you know what I mean? So I got it. I got to get to work. Okay, so let's let's uh get started here so as you guys can see here today is the launch of digibytes um uh new a uh, new version of their new website uh i haven't heard the announcement uh today on their twitter but i think you can just go to the site and see all the new updated things i don't I'm not sure if they're actually going to put it out uh that that the site is actually uh renewed or whatever the case may be i think you just got to go to the site and and see it for yourself okay um and somebody post this, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, they say that Digibyte uh, coin production will drop uh, 1% monthly, and that less Digibytes are now being produced, and they're calling for five to ten cents in the month of October. Okay, so and I and I and I did comment saying I would like to see that this week. <laughs> okay, five to ten cents this week because we do have the city uh, city uh, T4 challenge uh tomorrow okay so um you know so here it is from city finally from city finally from city okay acknowledging that the that they do have a finals uh, award show on, on october i mean october 2nd okay and i did put down here um y'all got the nerve leaving everyone hanging for weeks matter of fact it was months okay uh now you want to say something after a huge backlash lol basically laughing out laughing out loud um and then um free free uh had my back he says wow no kidding well said and spot on okay so uh tomorrow is the uh award ceremony so let's see if the g-bite win something okay um we, but the fact that they didn't say anything until two days before the event they stopped all momentum from they they stopped all of Digibyte's momentum from 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 their delays and their and their non talk. Unbelievable. They knew they were holding the event. They didn't want to come out and say because they they knew if they came out and said Digibyte would have ran would, would would run six seven hundred thousand <laughs> percent. And so they they killed Digibyte's run. They knew they knew what they were doing. You know anybody and everybody agrees with me. So you know, you know. and then here's Charlie Lee talking about uh for litecoin talking about a uh, moby wallet now supports litecoin and it uses lights as a default unit so cool so more good news from litecoin coming out it seems like every week there's good news on litecoin okay so just make sure you just make sure you hold litecoin okay uh it's just one of the coins you should be holding okay if, if, the, if you want to if you want to know the coins you should be holding it's my top four right it's it's litecoin it's omiso go omg coin uh what we call it um it's bitcoin and ethereum if you hold those four you're in great shape now of course everybody that's holding digibyte right now should be in great shape this week right it's up already we'll, we'll check that out later now let's get into iraq news uh why why 95 percent of you guys are even watching this video is because it's an iraq news so uh even though a lot of you guys do hold those coins so i wanted to make sure i got that out the way um Okay, so parliamentary speaker uh, calls on the parliament to include the laws that the Kurds have forbidden to pass. Somebody did bring this up a couple of days ago. Shout out to whoever did bring that up on the 365 page. Um, if you're new to this channel, uh, Eyes Open Media, we do have a main channel, which is Currency365. That is my main channel. It's got like 12, over 12,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's a big channel. Uh, this channel is doing okay. <laughs> you know, we're coming up on 5,000 subscribers on this channel soon. So it's moving along, right? But the big dog, um, we're going to be talking about some more things over there. And we do have a Facebook page called Currency365 on Facebook. You can like it and, and, and uh, follow it. And uh, so, and people, and the 365 crew members, they bring the articles and the posts and they comment. And uh, so, if you check out the main channel later today, you'll see, because uh, I go over there and I read what the 365 people had to say and, and all their new postings. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, so, join the community, join the, uh, the Eyes Open Media and the 365 crew by just subscribing and then following and liking the page on Facebook. 
So somebody brought this up from the 365 crew the other day. I didn't touch on it. I did see it. So I'm not sure it was Eric or Kev or or uh, Greg or, or Daniel or, or any somebody else, but or um, David Johnson or somebody else. But I did see it and uh, it was kind of interesting because I saw it and I just put it off and I said, you know, I'm gonna I'll talk about it later. But um, they're talking about the oil and gas law. So they're they're saying so they're saying that the Kurds. Or, or the Kurds are the ones that are, are, were holding up the oil and gas law. The Kurds had the, because uh, they call it forbidden laws. Now, Maliki was the one who backtracked it on the herbal oil and gas law herbal agreement back in 2012, I believe it was, right? So if Maliki, who was a GOI member at that time at the, as, as the prime minister, if he's the one who backed off on the oil and gas law, how could that be the Kurds fault for the forbidden laws? If, if your prime minister was the one who backed off of a, a deal that was already signed and ready to go to bring in the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. So that is interesting to me. So, anyways, they do have they highlighted the oil and gas law. I'm pretty sure they're going to say that the uh, Article 140 is also the Kurds' fault, right? Because Kirk Cook wants to go with the Kurds, and they don't like that. So they will say it's the Kurds' fault as well for Article 140 not being in, in, uh, activated and passed. Now, the United Nations told a body activate Article 140 now. That that was like three months ago. He still hasn't done it. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy, man. Because, and the reason why he hasn't done it is because Kirk Cook was was flying the Kurdistan flag. And they can't stand the Kurdistan region. <laughs> okay? Um, Maliki was so jealous of the Kurdistan region, he backed out on Herb at the last minute because he knew it would, it would flourish the Kurdistan region even more. The Kurdistan region was flourishing under Maliki because they were westernized, and Maliki hated it. And so did the rest of Iraq. And so to back out of that herbal agreement like he did was devastating, right? And we all know what happened to the Kurdistan region after that, right? So now the Kurdistan region is coming back to a normal again and actually getting back on track. Now what a body do? A body went in there, ran to parliament to pass laws to crush their economy again. Just like Maliki. <laughs> he is just like Maliki. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? And then he had the nerve to come out and tell, tell, tell the citizens of the Kurdistan region that I'm not trying to starve you out. And I'm sitting here like you're not trying to you're not trying to starve them out, but you you, you just restricted every you restricted the air, the land, the sea. That's gonna starve them out. <laughs> it, it, unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. He can go. You can pass laws as quick as lightning. And then and pull up and then come out and say some bull crap like I'm not trying to starve you out, but you have no but you can't no one can come into your uh, to the Kurdistan region through air, sea, or land. But I'm not trying to starve you out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Maliki uh, hitting in disguise. Um, Baghdadi comes out. So so because everybody else is beefing, Baghdadi says I think it's a good time to wake up and uh and tell everybody I'm alive. So Baghdadi comes out during this during this time. He says that the uh, Kurds are going to fight with the uh, with Turkey, and so that's going to happen in the future. Baghdadi says uh, because of the uh, indep referendum independence stuff, and so Baghdadi breaks his silence after years, you know, and uh, you know he's uh, <laughs> he will not be discouraged by the many murders. So ISIS has been wiped out of the Middle East. Basically, almost 99% of ISIS is wiped out now. Dave, Dave uh, Baghdadi and his team and his troops are are depleted heavily. Okay, they're they're at the last phases, the last this last eight weeks coming up, uh, starting now today till the next eight weeks, the ISIS will be el completely eliminated from the Middle East. And uh, yeah, and so Baghdadi, I don't I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't I don't know if he's alive. I don't know if this is fake. I don't know if this is false. We don't know. We don't know. No, you know, and and and. All, all, all of it's going to take is American or, or United Nations and America and United Kingdom to come out and say uh, we the act that he's dead uh, and and put out some type of false video um, and everybody then will just the whole world will just believe it. So that's all it is. So 
Uh, but the the timing of the timing for me is is critical because it, the Kurds and Abadi were going at it, and then Baghdadi, and then we we got the date of of the time frame for full liberation, which is between now and and the last week of November. And so when we got that time frame from Abadi, I'm not sure if he slipped up and said it or whatever the case may be, but he, we got a time frame from Abadi uh, between now and the end of November for the entire region to be completely liberated. Then the, you know he went out he goes after uh, Brazani and the Kurds, even though he knew this stuff was going to happen three, four, five months ago when they declared when they talked to him about going independent, and he didn't care back then. Now he wants to make act like he cares now, and so it's all a game. It's all a game. He, these guys go to acting school. <laughs> it's all a, it's all a Hollywood script, and then all of a sudden Baghdadi wants to show back up. So <laughs> perfect timing, right? And uh, so it's all, co everything's coded, guys and girls. You guys already know that. Everything's coded, perfect timing, Hollywood scripts, acting uh, while people suffer. And the reason why they, they can do this is because they're already rich. And, you're, and, and at some point, at some point, you're going to be listening. You could be some point this year, and it could be within the next couple of weeks, depending on how you move on these cryptos within these next couple of weeks. You could be sitting here watching this Hollywood script rich as well. And that's what we want to be. We, we want to be watching. We want to be listening to this Hollywood script until 1118 also rich. So then it doesn't affect us, right? You know, I'm like, Psh, I just made another six figures on, on this coin. Oh, I made 40,000 on this coin. Oh, I made uh, 90,000 on this coin. Oh, I made 160 on this coin, right? And we don't, and then so when we look at that rack stuff, we, it doesn't even trigger. We, we don't even care. That's the mindset we should be having right now. This is our time. This is our time. We told you, you know, and it's, Kenneth Story even said it himself that the cryptos will go first, then the currencies. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the cryptos go first, and then the currencies will go, and then silver will go in that time frame as well, and then gold will go. So that is the timeline. The cryptos, okay, and they have gone a lot. A lot of people have made six, seven figures this year alone off the of cryptos, okay? So the cryptos will go, then the, the currency, the, the emerging markets will go, and then uh, and the revaluations of certain currencies will go, all right, with the emerging markets, which they're in. And then silver will finally start to rise and explode up, and then gold. So that's the order, right? That's the order we've been given. It's going that way so far. The cryptos are going. The cryptos are going to boom between August and, and May. The cryptos are going to go uh, 10, 10 times to 100 times their value. Okay? When I mean, you're looking at stuff like uh, by May, you're looking at Litecoin and Omiso Go and, and Ethereum and Bitcoin and, and Cloakcoin and, and all these other coins up 10 times. 10 times to possibly 100 times their value that they are now. I mean, just think about last just think about last year October when when we were getting into this Bitcoin stuff and doing the transactions and all this stuff because of my 24 and I met uh OJ and back in the uh summertime and and he got me and he helped me out with the transaction of Bitcoin and stuff cuz I knew about Bitcoin back in 2008 2009 but I never did anything about it, right? That was a big mistake. Um, but my, my, my mind wasn't, my mind wasn't the mind I have now. So I wish my mind was the way I had it now because I would have jumped on Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, I would have seen it for what it was, but I, but back then my mind was programmed incorrectly. Okay. So anyways, um, so yeah, so that, that, so that happened. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so you can, so when we were back then in about October last year, Bitcoin was at like what? 500 bucks, 400 bucks, and now it's at 4,300, okay? You know, uh, Ethereum was at like two bucks, three bucks around this time. Now, now this, then it hit 400 this year and it's sitting at two, 300 bucks. So you can imagine this next 12 months. 
You can only imagine when the when 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 and we're not even one percent of the world yet, right? One not even one percent of the world owns or, or does cryptocurrencies. And when you get at that next surge of people that are going to come in within the next twelve months, you can only imagine where the prices are going to be next by this time next year. And if you guys don't get in again, if you guys miss this next twelve months, then because uh, you're only waiting on Iraq and Iraq's your only investment and and. Uh, Hopefully, Iraq's already done by this time next year. But if it's not for some strange reason, you only have yourself to blame because it's good. You're going to see another hundred times value on many of these coins just by holding them in the next year. OK, or at least by summer um, and uh, take advantage of it. Uh, Kurdistan region is and we're going to be here. We're going to well, God willing, right? We're going to be here taking you guys step to step through many of these coins and we're going to watch them all together make us millionaires and billionaires and over these next 12 months because i definitely think that many of you guys can become billionaires off of these cryptocurrencies and i think we're going to see a lot of billionaires off of these cryptocurrencies within the next 12 months um okay so the kirsten region is witnessing a rise in fuel prices and severe congestion in at the gas stations okay so we know all the crackdowns that are going in um going on now these crackdowns are 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 going on because they want a body wants to curse and reason to feel pain for what they did uh on that day to embarrass them so the the pain is going to be at the pumps and things of that nature the gas prices are going to go higher and all types of stuff like that and it is what it is um of course turkey might turkey's threatening to cut off the oil supplies of the Kurdistan region which will send oil prices through the roof <laughs> okay and we don't really want oil prices through the roof we want oil prices to 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 stay around these prices you know 50 to 60 so they can so they can revalue if prices of oil go back to 80 90 100 iraq's going to delay the revaluation because they're not going to they're like we're, we're good we don't need a revalue right now oil prices are are high we're good to go right um and we, we have a nice surplus now because our budget was only at like 45 and oil sitting at 85 and we're now we can pay all our bills off and we don't need to revalue our money we can continue to just sit here and just steal from the country um so thanks imf and, and everybody else but we don't need you so we got they got to keep the oil prices at least under 60 um or at least 65 the highest um okay so it says engineer hawaji is uh to be released within days yeah and I, I did say within 72 hours, uh, at the max four day, more days. So we got you know, after today we got three more days. And Hawaji should be done by Wednesday. By Wednesday, if Hawaji isn't done by Wednesday, something's wrong, right? Hawaji is taking way too long than we expected, and um, it looks like uh, it says after Hawaji and Kwaim ruled near the uh, sword and border. Okay. So they so they they're they're putting Kwaim in with Hawaji and sometimes they put it in with Rawa but they're all their own so we'll we'll see how all this goes man we'll see we'll see how how Kwaim and Rawa and Hawaji goes over the next eight weeks um, okay so this week we should have Hawaji and then hopefully within the month of uh, October. Or November we have Kwaim and Rawa. We should have we should be able to have both of them in October, but you already know how it goes. They 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 would del you know um a body would delay two weeks just to start the operations in those areas. Which going through articles you already see that we are doing operations in those areas already. So it wouldn't make no sense. Um yet Nahu uh, reveals the truth about Israel's relationship with the Kurdistan region or the Kurdistan referendum. Um, and he, he said he was just su supporting them. That's all it was. He was just supporting them. And he was supporting the citizens. That's it. So they did their thing. He was supporting them. That's it. He has. That's all he had. He has no ties really with them. He's, he was just supporting them. That's it. So like he said here, he said, I was just expressing support for the aspirations of the Kurdish people. Okay. So that's it. That's all he was doing. He ain't, he ain't putting big money in there. He ain't doing anything. He ain't backing them up militarily wise. He's not. All he was doing was saying good for them to want to go independent if the if the government is stalling on your, their economic reforms and everything else that that they need for their country. That's it. Okay. So let's go look at some cryptos. 
and then I'll jump on the main channel and we'll look at the other articles and then everything that you guys had to say on currency 365 um, so 4300 Bitcoin wouldn't be surprised in the next three hours Bitcoin goes turns green and the whole market turns green <laughs> I mean it's just been sometimes when it sits at 30 at 30 at 4300 some it just turns green and then it can it can just easily go so I expect remember I did tell you guys that I, I was expecting either today or tomorrow for Bitcoin to be at 5,000 I don't want to see that right now because that would be a 700 jump and then that would just crush the altcoin so I don't want to see that okay but I do want to see Bitcoin continue upwards we did say it was going to continue up uh, to, to around 5,000 around this time so it's 700 points away I think we're going to go green here in a second in a couple of hours we'll be back green and I think we're going to continue upwards maybe tomorrow we're at 4500 44 4500 tomorrow maybe uh, but it's looking good Bitcoin's looking good it's stabilizing people are jumping into Bitcoin now because Roger Ver is just basically guaranteeing a hard another hard fork in a, in a you know in, in November uh, November 1st I guess Bitcoin gold so everybody wants that 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 free coin right so people are buying the crap out of Bitcoin uh, and, and just leaving their money in Bitcoin and moving their money out of the altcoins uh, so so they can get the uh, free you know whatever that free Bitcoin is gonna be which is Bitcoin gold they'll be getting I'm not gonna do that now I'm gonna wait until we have full information that Bitcoin gold is is going to happen and also I think Litecoin is gonna run to that hundred dollars probably before uh, the activation of the hard fork so uh, my thing is I wanna you know digibyte this week right take them you know take some funds take those funds you know what I mean put them in Litecoin Litecoin doubles to a hundred and then take those funds and dump them into uh, Bitcoin and get that free Bitcoin gold right so that is the strategy that you guys could use uh, if you want to you know but everybody's gonna be in Bitcoin if there is a hard fork for that bit that free Bitcoin gold they're not gonna miss this opportunity like they did for Bitcoin cash okay so we're gonna make sure we're all in Bitcoin uh, <laughs> when it one before that hard forks uh, so we're both, so we can get our free Bitcoin gold okay so let's see here any NEM is up uh, NEO is up um, let's see here BitConnect is up a little bit MISO goes down uh, Quantum or Qtum is up uh, Tether is up Stratus is down uh, I think somebody I, I think my uh, old boy Ali on Facebook was like man Stratus is killing me it's killing everybody man you know I I, I had to I got out of it a long time ago in the, in the summer I think it was summer when I got out of Stratus uh, because it was just continuing down like everything else and I was just fed up with everything going down 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 and uh, it's got to break that if it doesn't break its 50 day if it doesn't break its 50 day moving average then uh, it's uh yeah they got the, the people are talking in the background but anyways if it doesn't break its 50-day moving average it's gonna be hard for Stratus to to continue upwards uh salt here is at 640 um I know a lot of you guys are watching salt maybe for one more drop and then you might want to get in on there Walton coin um, Digibyte where is it at Digibyte moved up tremendously look at that it's moving so Digibyte today's a day to launch of their website tomorrow the new version of their website go to their website and check it out or just go to the Twitter and click on their website you'll probably see the new versions of their new system is up and running it should be and then um, also um, tomorrow's the city city uh, T4 challenge if Digibyte wins an award of let's say half a million dollars a million dollars two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars I think that's gonna give it a lot of momentum to, to at least double from where it's at now uh, we could see it go to two but two cents and then go to maybe three to four cents uh, tomorrow for the event we'll see uh, we'll see how it goes um, what else is going on here verge coin up a little bit side coin ADEX is that uh is up a little bit at 125 watch ADEX because two dollars is coming for that one so that was that will make you guys some money um let's see here and let's go over here to cloak 
Cloak Coin is not in the top 100 anymore. You know, I have a $300 uh, target for Cloak Coin. Cloak Coin is up a little bit right now. It's at 7.33. Okay, so and then OK Cash. I also hold this one down a little bit, seven percent uh, at 30. So I'm not sure what's going on with OK Cash, um, but this looks like the uh, it's still oversold. So we can't really say much. If it was over, if it was overbought, you know, I'm doing this and that's fine, but it's oversold, so I can't, I'm not going to say nothing until it gets that third buy signal, which should come in in the next 48 hours or 72 hours, we should get that neck, that new buy signal on the chart, and once we get that, then I think the fun begins back, uh, back to 50 cents, and then back, and then headed towards $1 for OK Cash, uh, and then we'll see what happens from there, you know what I mean? So that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll be on the main channel. Uh, we'll go through the uh, the news, and I'll go through uh, what you guys had to say on Facebook and all the postings on there. And uh, we'll probably go through the cryptos one more time. And uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you guys later. I will post another. Uh, Omar did a whole bunch of videos, uh, interviews. So I have posted one on this channel already. I'll post another one tonight, and I'll post another one on the main channel. And then tomorrow we'll continue to post. I want to get all of those interviews up on the channels, but I don't want to flood them. So I'll post maybe two a day until all the interviews are completed. So shout out to Omar, man, for doing those interviews. That's something that me and a couple of you guys like crypto gamer and others that are really into the crypto community that's something that we could do in the future like maybe by this time next year or by next summer when we you know uh, we could be going out to these conferences together flying out together to these conferences to these communities and uh and checking these things out holding conversations and things like that so it's something to think about uh for the future of cryptos because my channel both of my channels are going to be fully cryptos right well at least the main channel will be this one will be uh cryptos but it's also going to be uh a lot more uh, i'm going to be bringing trying to bring more inspirational uh you know uh prophetic stuff and uh, gospel stuff and uh yeshua stuff on the channel as well right so um and that's it so it'll be a mix of that on this channel and then the main channel would just be mostly crypto crypto news crypto charts going live um going live uh you know what i mean with uh, doing crypto stuff and oh, uh with everybody and uh things like that so that's the future of the channel for the for the main channel and then this channel peace out everybody eyes open talk to you guys later bye